Hey loves, my name is Natasha Denise and welcome to my channel. If you are oldie but goodie, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, it's going to be my, um, it's just going to be my impression. Um, my first impression of products that I purchased. And so, or it's just going to pretty much be bought it, but how was it? Is it worth your money? Whatever. So, um, I bought a lot of Marc Jacobs. I, um, a lot of Marc Jacobs products. And I'll leave the link up here somewhere. Um, so you all can see that haul if you want to. Because I purchased Marc Jacobs and a bunch of other items from Sephora. Um, and so, let me just give you my opinion about the items so the first item is the Marc Jacobs shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation um, I got it in tan Y480 looks like this and my impressions on the foundation is that I mean it is a nice foundation I'm not gonna lie it it really is but like I'm even rent wearing it now um, the foundation has a tendency to like break up after probably about two hours so it breaks up so I can't really recommend this foundation for the amount of money that this costs um, I expect full coverage this is not full coverage this um, this is like skin like coverage to me um, but that's not a problem, but I mean, I did expect full coverage for the amount, but it would have been acceptable if it didn't, it didn't break up the way that it does in such a short period of time. So I have to say this is a pass. Um, this is a pass because I purchased it. I mean, I can't return it, but, um, and I might will return it. I don't know. Because it's not a bad foundation. But to have to keep touch it up. I just. I don't have time for it. I just really don't. The next item. Um, that I had got. Is from our Jacobs as well. And this is their. Uh, their perfecting coconut setting mist. Now this mist is very nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's a it's very nice. The coconut smell is not overpowering. I love the packaging. Um, the only problem is and maybe I sprayed too much, but I like to drench my face. I did not drench my face in this though. I did spray like maybe four times. Um, I would first I would like the I would like when I spray it. I would like to, the um the mist to be more fine. Um, and it's not. If that makes any sense um, to you all. And in addition to that, I don't know if because I have oily skin, but it seems to have made my skin um, a little more glossier than what I would like. Did it um, did it set my face? It, it did set. It set it very nice, but it made my face glossy, if that makes any sense. So um, I said maybe I should maybe use this... Um, uh, I should maybe have sprayed it twice um, or did a mattifying setting spray first and then sprayed this as just a top layer, uh, which I'll try next. Um, but I would probably recommend this for dry, for those who have dry skin, not, not us oily girls. But maybe I'll just try the, the technique I just said and see how that goes. But just by itself, no. The, uh... The Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Primer. Now, I did like this primer. I did like this primer. I love this primer. I love how my uh, I love how the Marc Jacobs Foundation did glide on there. It glide beautifully. The um, the end the end results was gorgeous. I wish my makeup had stayed the way it did originally. <laughs> when I have first applied the um, foundation, I mean the primer and the foundation, um, but it wasn't this. It wasn't this primer. This primer was was great. It was great. It's not. It wasn't um, greasy or anything. Um, the tackiness was 
perfect wasn't too much wasn't too little I would definitely repurchase this primer personally the next item that I get um, was the uh, sugar sugar so I use this and I do love I do I do love this gloss um, this is a gorgeous gloss for women of color when you just want to pop something on your lips um it give you like that pretty nude but it doesn't look ashy is this a pretty it's a pretty gloss it's, it's almost like it's a rose gold type of gloss with just a, a little speck of um little speck of glitter not too overpowering and it just looks really really beautiful on women of color skin and so i would definitely repurchase this gloss definitely i love that gloss for um us women or people of color the next item that i used was the anastasia um was the Anastasia Blush Trio, the Barrier Door, and I used the middle color, which is exotic. And I'm actually I actually have that on my face today. If you can see. I have it on my face today. Um and this is a gorgeous blush. I mean it it was a gorgeous blush. Uh the pigmentation is there. It didn't bring out my textures. Um a little goes a long way. I did get a little too heavy on um, with it today, um, but I just love the color. Um, I just love that uh, the exotic color that I was using. It's called exotic, so the very uh, exotic color that I was using, I loved it. So I did kind of go a little overboard, but um, this is a good purchase. I will definitely, if you're a blush person, you will not regret that blush trio. That was the perfect colors. Um, the, of course, the Marc Jacob, the gel eye crayon. I can't say enough about this, um, about this liner. This liner is amazing. I love this liner. Um, it doesn't bleed. It's very simple. You glide it on once, twice, that's it. N no more. You don't, a lot of times, because some liners do bleed i have i actually set my liner with black eyeshadow didn't have to do that with this at all so this is definitely a keeper the next item that i used on my face was the sephora it was a sephora concealer and it was the bright uh future concealer and i had got mine and Creme Carmel, Carmel, number 13. And this wasn't bad, actually. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, it did crease in my lines, but every found, I mean, every concealer creases in my lines. Um, under my eyes, it's not nothing new. I don't think they will ever create anything that won't, at least not right now anyway. Uh, but it was easy to blend. It wasn't... Um, it uh it wasn't it didn't dry too fast because I did let it sit for a couple of minutes and then I started blending it out. It blended out beautifully, perfect. It um it's just and I'm I have it on today, and it was just it was just a perfect blend. So I do actually like this um and um it has and it does has a gel like feel to it um which probably. I'm sure it made the blending so easy, but it did enough coverage. It was it's not full coverage, it's like medium coverage. It's not light, but it is medium coverage. I think it's probably is buildable, but I didn't build it. But um but yeah, this gave me the coverage that I was looking for. It glided easily, it was easy to blend, and it worked beautifully with my Sasha. Uh, with my Sasha powder, so n no complaints with that. That is a definitely good buy. The next item is the Becca, the Sunset Waves. I use that. I am in love with this bronzer. This bronzer is gorgeous. Do you hear me? I love it it gave my skin such a beautiful um tropical just a beautiful tropical uh 
uh, lift, if that makes any sense, lift to my face. I mean, I absolutely love this. It just, it just gave my skin just that, that tropical tone and that tropical look that I was looking for. And it was not overpowering. It was perfect. I would definitely repurchase this again if I could. I might not buy another one. Just just so when I run out because I this is going to be my go-to for the summer this is the type of bronzer that I have been looking for that I really wanted and the colors in here are gorgeous I mean these colors combined are gorgeous for us people and women of color like this is just beautiful this is beautiful it gave me the beautiful bronze look that I was that I needed that I was looking for and I've been looking for it for a while and the last two items um, that I uh, tried out, where this one was a sample, it was from the Lacombe, and this is the mascara. I like to use like two, three different mascaras um, on my um, lashes, and I used the Lacombe, and I used the CoverGirl Peacock Flare, and this combined just gave my it gave my lashes length it gave them volume and it was just it was just a perfect combination I did not need to put on um, fake lashes at all the it was it was just it was just gorgeous I actually I ran it today I don't know if you all can um, see it I don't know if you all can see it but it it gave my lashes such a um, such a great uh oh I don't know if you can see it but it it just volumized my lashes and it gave me the look that I that I needed that I was looking for looks natural but yeah at the same time it looked like bada bing and so um because I wear glasses I can't wear lashes all the time they touch it touches my lens so um this is perfect these this combination is actually really really good so yeah you should try it out the uh, the Lacombe I'm sure you can go to Macy's and go to the Lacombe counter and get this one um but this is a sample size one you can get the regular size and this is at Walgreens or Walmart or Target it's back cover girl so it's any drugstore so that's it. That is, that's my, you know, that's, that's my go-to. Um, the two items that I would say was just like not for me is these. I mean, just, it wasn't really, wasn't really feeling it at all. The foundation, it, they, it costs too much for it to not do what it needs for it to not do what it needs to do. The Marc Jacobs spray, I mean, it's really nice and everything, but for how much this spray costs, I shouldn't be looking glossy. If it's for dry skin only, then they should say that. Um, but everything else, I say, if you can afford it, go ahead and get it. Um, you won't regret it. So. That is, that's all that I have for you guys. If you enjoyed the content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye, loves.